<laughs> awesome. That's beautiful. Maybe one day when I grow up, I can do that. <laughs> can I? Yes, of course. With you practice? Can. With practice, you can, I'm sure. All right. So we have in studio Nanako, Aramaki, and Ricardo Garcia of Flamenco Flow. Talk to us about Flamenco Flow first, Garcia. I'll start with you. Well, we started uh, quite a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, going around the world, uh, the idea is to bring flamenco to people, and we've been on four continents, but also to take elements from wherever we go, we mm -hmm. mix with people and try to do shows which are a kind of fusion. So that means that we also bring back to flamenco some elements from other cultures and other So styles. let's backtrack a little bit, let me catch a short. Flamenco, what is it, for those who have no idea? <laughs> Uh, flamenco is the music and dance from southern Spain, a uh, region that we call Andalusia. Okay. And uh, it originates uh, probably about over 200 years ago. But origi uh, originally it's already from its own background a fusion of elements of people coming from... Uh, gypsies originally came from north of India. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, south of Spain being um, the entrance to the Mediterranean, right. uh, there's a lot of influence of uh, all these um, cultures like the Greeks. Uh, also, from the south of Spain, you can see the coast of Morocco, which is, of course, Africa, mm -hmm. just very, very near. Right. So you get a lot of North African uh, kind of uh, influence in flamenco as well. So gypsy, North African, and uh, also when the Spaniards started to travel around the world, they brought back some elements from the Caribbeans back to Spain, and the Caribbeans came from Africa. So there's a lot of like rumba style, like yeah. I could show you some different styles that they say could originate from the Congo, you know. Are you from Spain? I'm from the south of Spain originally, yes. Okay. Nanako, what about you? How did you get into this? Yeah, it's quite uh, an interesting story because I was born in Japan and my parents are Japanese. Yeah. And my mother always wanted to take flamenco in Japan because it's very popular still today. Uh, there are more flamenco schools in Japan than in Spain. Mm -hmm. And um, my my family moved to Canada. That's interesting. More in Japan than yeah, in Spain. How is I think that? The, the most number of flamenco schools per capita in the world is yeah. in Japan. It's that's interesting. More they than really, in Spain. they really huh? like more than in Spain. <laughs> they they really really like Spanish, Spanish perhaps. perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So when my family moved to Canada and my mom found flamenco, she really liked it, and I had been dancing ballet since I was three, and. She finally convinced me to pick up flamenco when I was 16, mm -hmm. and, and then I was hooked. Yeah. yeah. So you dance? I dance. What else? Pretty much. That's what I do. Yeah? <laughs> and give haleos, ole. And so what are those little things you were... The castanets? Casting, yeah. Yes, these are typically used for classical Spanish dance, but it's been uh, incorporated into flamenco. And we, we just... Yeah make it sound and it's like a percussion instrument. So the right hand does something which is a kind of basic Yes, beat. so we play with the four fingers with the right and with one with the left and together. Yeah. How long does it take you to learn to do that? Uh, some years. Some years. <laughs> wow. Some practice. So you're a guitarist and you've been doing this for how many years now? Since I was pretty much since I was born. I was lucky to be born in a family that uh, played flamenco and sing flamenco. My uncle Antonio taught me how to play the guitar. My father uh, from very early age pushed me to practice and practice. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom's an amazing singer. So we started to, you know, uh, got my first guitar. I was like four years old and then play and play and play. And, um, you know, and uh, we learn a lot from listening to other people play, you know, yeah. and now as I said earlier on, the idea is to also learn from, from other types of musicians that not necessarily from the world of flamenco. Mm. So flamenco guitar has evolved a lot and you use kind of uh, blues, jazz chords, you know, bossa nova, a lot of... Uh, so the harmony is also a, a, a big evolution, you know, in, in the harmonies, but also in the rhythms and, you know, and so yeah. there's lots of traditional styles and then it's kind of uh, developing to, um, to something quite modern now. So interesting what you said about having more of the schools and stuff happening in Japan and yet it's from Spain. What do you think it is about flamenco that has had it have more appeal elsewhere and even around the world and yet it's originated from Spain? What is the appeal for both of you? I'll start with you, Nanako. It's interesting. I think it's because it, it kind of serves as a release, I think, in, yeah. especially in Japan. I mean, I didn't grow up there, but I have the feeling that 
people use flamenco as a stress relief, you mm. know? After work, they go to their flamenco class, and, and it's so passionate. Yeah. So it, that, that's what it does for somebody. What, what would you say? I think it's also because it's in, intrinsically uh, uh, the art of the people, you know? It mm. uh, originates from the people. Um, so it, it, it deals with, uh, with a very kind of, uh, uh, it's an art form that's alive. It's not like some kind of folk stuff that's kind of been done the same way for years. I, as I was saying that is a, there is an evolution in the singing, in the playing, in the dancing. So that means that there's an art that's very, very much alive. And it's the people that you just get together in a patio, in a courtyard mm. after a meal. And people will start clapping there. could show you a bit of clapping mm. and if somebody will just uh, get up and dance and and you don't need to be like a like a, a, a ballerina or somebody just like really uh, a certain shape you see this in flamenco you have the old mamas that are going to dance and they are so amazing. you don't have to be all cute and skinny like yeah you just you know anybody and that's something <laughs> that's very important that you're uh, uh, you know we're all welcome and accepted as we are as yeah. as, as being human beings and i think that's that's one of the strength of flamenco and as Nanako was saying it's really passionate but it tells about about love and mm. and, uh, and, uh, and and death and, and you know and, and uh, uh, you know uh, sadness and uh, happiness and all sorts of different things. Like How has it been received here? Um, playing here, performing here, Kenyans receiving this well, well or trying to figure it out? <laughs> I think I suppose yeah some people have probably never ever seen it just live like this you know they come to see the shows mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we have uh, but so far, it's it's been really, really well uh, received, and people really love it. I think yeah, it's just kind of uh, I'm, I'm I'm really happy about that. So, are you traveling through Kenya, based here? How is it you're here now? And if somebody wants to learn this, how do they get in touch with you guys? Well, uh, <laughs> maybe on online or something, because we we are just touring here at the moment. Okay. But we've been here as a for fourth time, so um, feels like a bit at home here, being in in, in Kenya. Since how long have 2010. you been? How long have we been here for? Oh, this time? Yes. Oh, only since uh, 16th of October. Okay. But hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be here till the uh, end of November, beginning of December. And I understand we you have a function. We have various things up. happening, but oh. the next thing happening is on Thursday, so day after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's at the... Um, no, tomorrow actually. Is Thursday. It, it's tomor yeah, tomorrow, Thursday. tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah. I think it's an early start, a kind of a bit... <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Trust me, you feel it every day, yeah. Uh, tomorrow at the Michael Joseph uh, Center Safaricom mm -hmm. at 7 in the evening. And that's the show where uh, we're going to have uh, flamenco. So Nanako is also dancing with uh, uh, Indian dance, Shilpa's coming, and then the mm. Gombut uh, uh, section will come and bring some very interesting combinations. And we have, yeah. have a very good friends um, that I've been playing with since I came here, uh, who are musicians, really, really talented musicians, you know, and the singers. There's quite a lot of, uh, of, uh, of people and uh, surprises. You know, people will be surprised because it's, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a fusion show. Yeah. So that's the idea. There's that's many different elements happening. That's right. So we're doing that on tomorrow at 7 at the Michael Joseph uh, Center. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a thing coming up in the German school on the 21st, mm -hmm. which is, uh, is a combination of workshops, because we also do workshops. We teach. Oh, yeah? So yeah, if, if you're interested, you can come. Yeah, I should. That's and, true. Uh, we'll, we'll Hopefully, I can yeah. come then show everybody what I learned. Yeah, German, <laughs> German school. We're doing kids workshop in the after, in the morning. In the afternoon, there's adults workshop and then a performance. And then the next day, there's a uh, we're also invited to the Tandawasi uh, festival mm -hmm. on the 22nd, and also a lot of interesting surprises. Um, 22nd uh, Tandawasi uh, festival, and uh, you can all find out and tweet on my uh, Ricardo Flamenco. So put Ricardo Flamenco Twitter. On Twitter. Yeah. Okay. So Nanako, mm -hmm. how long have you been? Um, no, you told us how you've been doing this pretty much since you were young. Um, yeah. But in terms of full time, is it what you do full time, or do you do other stuff? Um, or are you right fully now, committed to dancing? <laughs> right now, I live in Berlin, yeah. and I have. A part-time freelance job doing online marketing yeah but it's allowed me to do more flamenco because back home in Vancouver I had a full-time job and I could only teach and perform on weekends how so. easy is it to learn how many classes would one need say a very bad uh, student <laughs> well if you're only taking one or two classes a week it might take a few years yeah yeah to, to be but able to really to master it I I had to move to Spain. But so. this has also got to need to travel quite a bit. Yeah. Different parts of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Like here in Kenya. 
Are you loving your experience here? I am. Yeah, it's my second day here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I love it. And you love it. Um, so, these shows. By the way, is it open tomorrow to Michael Joseph and to people? We're we just telling them and saying, don't come. You mean if there's still, uh, if it's still some, yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. There uh, should be some room? Yes. Okay. So what other elements are there to this that people can look forward to? Those who are learning about it now for the first time and would be interested to get into either the dancing, playing, singing, you said. Uh -huh. So music, various instruments, uh, singing, what instruments? dancing. So we'll have <coughs> other guitarists, mm -hmm. percussionists, drummer. Uh, we have a, um, dancers, like Kenyan dancers, but also of uh, um, Indian origin. Mm -hmm. uh, doing singing and dancing, so there's fusion at, at all kind of European, African, Indian, kind of Asian, mm -hmm. you know, so this is the idea of, of doing the, the whole thing together. And then you have the use of uh, different, uh, uh, not Pops. just the castanet, but you also have like a dance with a fan. Can you show us a little so bit of that? Beautiful. Yeah. Um, mm. Just kind of wave it around. Looks very classy. Should be doing that as I host the news. <laughs> yeah. Cute. And there's this. What was this for? <laughs> <laughs> there's a mat down here. This is interesting because <laughs> we're looking for uh, something to uh, because the the, <coughs> the carpet doesn't help the footwork. It's essential in the dance, mm -hmm. in the flamenco dance. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a kind yeah. of. Uh, I can show a little bit. Just uh, a little bit. Yeah, you can show us. So to dance flamenco, we need proper flamenco shoes, All right. which have nails on the bottom, which allow us to make. Sound that, yeah, from different parts of the shoe. So, so my shoes would not pull that. For right. example, play a little bit, huh? Let's go. I will attempt to do that after the show, <laughs> and I'll tell you how it goes. So, for the workshop, those who'd be interested in that, um, where again do they um, come for this? Uh, there's a German school for adults who will be in the afternoon on the 21st. On the 21st. And, um, but we're still, you know, basically we're talking about those two main coming up, uh, well, three, uh, <laughs> Michael Joseph uh, tomorrow, 21st, the German school uh, workshops for kids in the morning, adults in the afternoon and then yeah. the show uh, early evening and then uh, the 22nd is the Tandawazi uh, festival mm. uh, and also it's, it's a very exclusive thing where people will have Spanish tapas you get oh. Spanish tapas as well so that's really um, that sounds very good uh, but if you again if you tweak like Ricardo Flamenco you'll get, uh, more, details. You'll get more details because we're obviously setting up other workshops and things you know, for the next few few days after. So how long are you for? Uh, are you around for? Uh, till the beginning of December. Oh, you're not going to be here for Christmas? Uh, uh, no, no, just the very beginning of December. In fact, as a matter of fact, we're having such a great time in Kenya, we're trying to extend our stay. Yes. <laughs> if there's a possibility, we just need to uh, extend, you know, our flights and, uh, and stay longer. Yes, Christmas in Kenya would be a, a wonderful thing. Would be amazing. Thing. Yeah, we're we're good it. people. We'll definitely love we, it. We love you guys. <laughs> so what next? From Kenya, where else are you going? And what next also for flamenco? You told me earlier before we came on that there's many different parts of it in terms of sometimes you have more people performing, fewer people. So what next for you guys? Uh, we're going to go to Tanzania mm -hmm. and then um, Zanzibar. We've been there last year and there's a very nice uh, music academy there. Right. We do a uh, day of exchanging, for, uh, exchanging with, the, with the music teachers there and then have a show in the evening and various uh, venues in, in, Dar, in Dar es Salaam. Right. And, uh, We'll be back then uh, in Nairobi. We've been so far to Mombasa, Meru, Nanyuki. Nice. And we're looking into hopefully go to Kisumu and other parts of Kenya as well. Because it's always nice not just to, to stay like in Nairobi, correct, to get out correct, and, and correct. see other places. Yeah. And we'd like to give also very special uh, mention to our three main sponsors, uh, Safaricom, mm -hmm. uh, Sarova Hotels, because they've um, uh, sponsored us for yes. the fourth year running now and have been wonderful. 
uh, and of course the, the Spanish Embassy in, okay. in, in Kenya. So we'll wrap it up there and I want you guys to end for us with the performance. It's the art of Flamenco everybody. So Nanako and Ricardo, thank you so much for being thank with us this much. morning. Wish you the best and enjoy the rest of your stay thank in Kenya. You. Thank you. Thank you. And before they perform, thank you everybody for watching the show today. Always a pleasure to be part of your morning. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Take care. So let's wrap it up with a nice good old performance sure. for us.